What's up guys? We're doing the panorama route here in South Africa. And in this video, we're gonna show you all of the highlights that you can't miss, as well as things you should know before you go. So hope you enjoy it. The Panorama Route is a breathtaking scenic drive located in the northeastern part of South Africa. The journey begins at the foot of Long Tom Pass and ends at the stunning Echo Caves, passing many deep valleys, flowing rivers, cascading waterfalls, natural rock formations, and spectacular viewpoints. In this video, we show the 10 best stops along the Panorama Route, moving from the south to the north. At the end, we also share some travel tips. Now let's dive in. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. Situated on the beautiful Long Tom Pass, Misty Mountain is an adventure destination with a variety of activities. The most popular one is the toboggan an alpine coaster that winds around the mountain for 1.7 kilometers at a speed of around 45 kilometers per hour. It's a thrilling and beautiful ride. Other than that, you can also go hiking, mountain biking, or quad biking. We joined a one-hour guided quad bike tour, which took us along forestry roads and remote mountain paths. Surrounded by lush green vegetation, the Makmak Falls cascade down a series of rock formations, creating a picture-perfect scene. A short walkway leads you to the lookout over the falls, which plummet for about 70 meters to the rock pool below. Unfortunately, you have to view these falls from behind a tall fence for safety reasons, but the view is still incredible. The Grasskop Gorge Lift is another unique experience along the Panorama Route, offering a range of activities. Whether you want to walk on a suspension bridge, ride a thrilling zipline, take in views from the lift, go on a relaxing forest walk, or try an adrenaline-filled rope swing, this place has it all. Each adventure promises a mix of excitement and natural beauty. And at the center of it all, there's also a spectacular waterfall. The pinnacle is a freestanding rock monolith set amidst the dense bush. Two viewpoints provide unique perspectives of this natural wonder, revealing its various features. They're both close to each other, and only take 5 to 10 minutes to walk to from the parking lot. While you'll also hear a rushing waterfall, it remains largely hidden from sight at the viewpoint. One of the most popular viewpoints along the panorama route is God's Window. Located on the edge of the escarpment, this overlook offers intimate views of the low veld below. On a clear day, you can even see all the way to Kruger National Park in the distance. From the parking lot, it's a short trail up to the first viewpoint. So if you're at the God's Window viewpoint, you can actually keep going a little bit further up into the rainforest. And at the top, you get an even more expansive view. The most beautiful waterfall along the panorama route, in our opinion, is the Lisbon Falls. At 94 meters, it's also the highest waterfall in the province. Right next to the parking lot, you can also find easily accessible viewing platforms at the top of the waterfall. This provides an impressive perspective of water plummeting down the rocky face to the pool below. A few years ago, we actually were allowed to swim below the Lisbon Falls, but it's not allowed anymore. 
So now you have to drive up the road out of the gates and then you can find just a river where you can take a swim. Situated close to the Lisbon Falls, the Berlin Falls are another stunning sight to behold. The falls can again be viewed from a platform where you can see them flow in their full glory. These falls are named after European cities because of the European miners that settled in the region during the gold rush in the late 1800s. Bork's Luck potholes are a series of strange rock formations, which were formed over centuries by the swirling waters of the rivers. During the gold rush era, numerous miners were hoping to find gold in these potholes, including Mr. Tom Bork, who is the person that these formations were named after. To visit the potholes, you can take a short walk on the bridges that overlook the rocks below. The most spectacular site along the panorama route is undoubtedly the Bleda River Canyon, known as the third largest canyon in the world. The best viewing spot is from the Three Rondevels site. From the parking lot, if you take the path on the right, you'll have a great view of the Three Rondevels themselves. These are unique rock formations that look like traditional African round huts. If you take the path that splits off to the left, then you'll be able to get a stunning overlook of the Bleda River as it snakes across the canyon floor. At an elevation of over 1,200 meters, both of these viewpoints make for the best pictures on the entire panorama route. It's also possible to visit the canyon from below and enjoy a scenic boat cruise, but it does require an additional one and a half hours of driving from the viewpoint. The Echo Caves are known to be some of the oldest caves in the world. Guided tours run daily, offering a glimpse into the fascinating history of these caverns and the unique formations within them. A 45-minute journey takes you through two kilometers of tunnels, where you'll discover the natural Madonna statue, interesting archaeological finds, and towering chambers reaching 60 meters high. This cave attracts fewer crowds compared to others in South Africa, and it is worth a visit if you have some extra time. As we promised at the beginning of the video, we'll now share a few travel tips for the panorama route. First, you should take your time. Although it's possible to get a quick overview of the area in one day, we recommend you plan for at least two days on the route so that you can fully enjoy all the sights and attractions without rushing. Second, we recommend basing yourself in Grasskop. It's the most central location along the panorama route, and also close to a lot of the highlights. This small town has many great accommodation options, as well as restaurants and other tourist facilities. We left a link to the place that we stayed at in the description below the video. Third, you should bring cash with you to the attractions. Every single stop charges an entrance fee, even the smaller viewpoints like the Pinnacle. Fees vary from 20 Rand to 150 Rand per person. The more popular sites, like the Bork's Luck potholes, are the most expensive ones. And not all of the stops accept credit cards, so having cash with you is essential. Finally, you should explore beyond the main sites if you have the time. We highlighted some of the top attractions, but there are also lesser known ones that are worth a visit, such as the Forest Falls, Grasscop Community Run, Sidwala Caves, and Bridal Veil vale Falls. Combining the panorama route with Kruger National Park is a popular itinerary option if you're doing a South Africa road trip. We have another full video on our channel about this majestic wildlife park, in case you're interested in learning more about it. And if you're planning your South Africa trip, we recommend keeping things organized with our interactive travel planner. Find a discount code in the description below the video. We also included important links that you'll need for your panorama route excursion in the description, such as a full travel guide with a map of where to stay and eat. We'll catch you on the next adventure.